Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another portion and answer session. This is the physiology portion of the EMRCS. First of all, read the question very carefully. A 73 years old lady is admitted for laparoscopic polycystectomy. During her pre-operative assessment, it is noted that she is receiving prosemide for the treatment of hypertension. Approximately what proportion of the sodium that is filtered at the glomerulus will be subsequently excreted so here they want to know about uh, the furosemide what proportion of the sodium is reabsorbed mainly so uh, let's see here that the patient is a hypertension and he is taking furosemide now we have to find out the proportion of the sodium will reabsorb which is filtered by the glomerulus so here the options options are up to 25 percent up to 75 percent between three and five percent less than two percent and between one to two percent so for uh, knowing about that uh, we have to know details about the nephron or different part of the nephron and the absorption of the sodium in the different part so first of all here we can see a complete nephrons and it is the glomerulus then proximal convoluted tubule this is loop of henley this is thick ascending lip of loop of henley then distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct and collecting tubule. so it is the normal pathway of fluid rhinoid into the nephron so here first of all here we can see this is the proximal convoluted tubule and here we can see sodium reabsorption occurs 65 to 70 percent so maximum that means maximum sodium that is the 65 to 70 percent they are absorbed from the proximal convoluted tubule then here we can see this is the thick ascending limb of loop of family and in the thick ascending limb limb of loop of family about 25 percent 25% sodium reabsorption occur and in case of distal convoluted tubule it is 5% sodium reabsorption occur and in case of collecting tubule and collecting that 1 to 2% of the sodium so uh, this important four uh, area one is the proximal convoluted tubule about 70% thick ascending lip of loop of family it is 25% distal convoluted tubule 5% and it is collecting tubule about 1 to 2 percent so here we can see the proximal convoluted tubule here the diuretics work and this diuretic is the carbonic anhydrase inhibitor so the carbonic anhydrase inhibitor it acts in this area and here we can see this is the thick ascending limb of loop of Henle. and in the thick ascending limb of loop of Henle, here works the loop diuretics which is the furosemide torsemide bubetanide so the loop diuretics it prevents the reabsorption of 25 percent of the sodium and thiazide it acts on the distal convoluted tubule and thiazide prevent five percent of the sodium reabsorption and in the collecting duct here we can see this is the potassium sparing diuretics then if we use the potassium sparing diuretics then 1 to 2 percent sodium will not be absorbed in this picture also here we can see this is the glomerulus proximal convoluted tubule loop of henley as thick ascending lip of loop of henley distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct and here our option which is the loop diuretics which is the furosemide and furosemide is responsible for the prevention of the reabsorption 25 percent of the sodium so it is now uh, our answer uh, so the loop diuretics can lead to mark increase in the amount of sodium excretion and it is it occurs in the thick ascending limb of loop of henley and decrease medullary concentration gradient and increase free water excretion as well as loss of the sodium and it is up to 25 percent so the prosomite it used for hypertension it uh, causes excretion more up to 25 percent so it is the answer of this question. Thank you all.